Good night, guys. Good night, Good teacher. How are you today? Very good. That's fine. Are you ready for today? Yes. That's the idea. What about the rest? How do you feel today, guys? ¿Cómo se sienten el día de ahora? Also, so do I. I feel tired. But don't worry. I will do my best effort that to be this class be a little bit with energy and soft at the same time. Okay, just give me a second. I will open my uh, platform in order to start with you. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, guys, today we'll, we'll do a little recap about what we, what we did yesterday. Right now, just give me a second. I will share my screen. Okay, guys. Yesterday, we learned about the simple present statements using irregular and regular verbs. Uh, today, I will, will decide uh, to give a little review about this. And this will be about this one, this rule. Those are the rule, the common or the regular verb are just the, the verbs that you add S or ES. And what are the rule? You add ES for words that end in CH, S, SH, or X, or Z. And also, okay. yes, go ahead. Uh, alguien dijo algo. Let me verify the, the chat. Good night, guys. Uh, just let me know something, guys. Mm. Give me a second, guys. Teacher. Dígame. Uh... Yo en la primera clase que estoy con usted. Lo que pasa es que estos dos días anteriores he eh, estado en una clase, en otro grupo equivocado. Entonces ahora es la primera, por decir así, con usted. Muy bien. Eh, te llamas Angélica, ¿correcto? Así es. Muy bien, Angélica. No te preocupes. Eh, hemos estado viendo anteriormente eh, unos cuantos temas. Al inicio comenzamos con una clase más que todo para conocernos y pues después de eso comenzamos ya a hablar sobre los temas que hemos visto en la plataforma. Solo dígame, dime algo. ¿Usted, ¿Usted tiene acceso a la plataforma? Sí, sí, tengo acceso. Perfecto. Muy bien. Permítame... Muy bien, permíteme y te mostraré qué fue lo que hemos visto en estos últimos días. Solo es este. Muy bien, nosotros vimos el primer día, estuvimos hablando sobre los medios de transporte. 
for example, the different kind of transportation. Okay. Uh, or guys, uh, or, or cl classmate, your classmate can tell you the different ways in order to go to work or go to university. For example, what's the difference or why cannot, why I cannot use drive instead of ride in a motorcycle? Someone remember that? Yes. Why? And drive is in the car inside and ride is on on the top in contact of the vehicle. The try. Right. Drive is is in the car or inside of that. And right is when you are on top. For example, you can be on top of a horse. You can ride a horse, a cow, what else? A motorcycle, a bicycle. And why I cannot say drive instead take the bus? What's the difference between take and drive? Someone remember that? Alguien recuerda por qué no puedo ocupar take o por, por qué no puedo ocupar drive instead of take the bus? Yeah, because uh, uh, take the bus is when uh, it's a driver but uh, drive the car is uh, I drive, drive, manejar, sure. Hey, you almost got ya. You almost got it. The idea is the next one. We use take when someone else drive the car. For example, you take an Uber when you ask for an Uber on your app to go to a specific place. For example, diciéndolo en español, take the bus, o la diferencia entre take y drive, es que drive es cuando vos manejas y take es cuando alguien más lo maneja. Un ejemplo, take a Uber. Yo tomé un Uber para llegar a tal lado. Instead, drive a Uber. Well, also, we use uh, the, the simple present using regular verbs and also irregular verbs. We may, uh, a test, the same test that is on the platform. And about the third, just give me a second. About the third person using simple present, I would like to show you the rule because today in the morning, someone told me that they have a little difficulties. I send an email, a voicemail in Spanish, but I would like to explain you also in English. Remember, those are the rules to use third person in simple present. What about the other person is a base form in simple present. You don't have to add any word at the end. But what about third person? The most of the verbs, you need to add an S as the first example. And the second one, words or verbs that end in CH as watched or watches, S as pass, SH as rush, X as in relax, and Z as in zebra, you have to add ES. Terminen estas palabras que están en el cuadro 2. Tienen que agregarle es. Solo los si son verbos. The third one and the most easy is the next one. 
This is when a verb and a Y. Cuando el verbo termina en Y. En Y. We have to delete Y and add I E S. For example, a study, another one that ends in Y is fly. Let me send it to you by chat. Just give me a second. Oh, thank you. Just give me a second. This is another example of a verb in third person using simple past, simple present. So it's fly, instead of fly, or in the fly, vamos a ocupar fly. But this is an exception, the number three. Place, we don't have to do that because it's an exception. Place, just need an S. Y aquí tenemos las formas irregulares. Do, go, be. Que en this kind of cases is, is and have. That the third person is has. Ahora bien. Continuaremos con este review. Hicimos eso. Luego hablamos sobre los verbos irregulares que vamos a ver. Hicimos otro assessment. Y nos quedamos aquí a comenzar el daily routine. Eh, let me ask him to you. Who study the picture that I sent in to you? Alguien revisó o estudió la picture que les envié ahora en la mañana. Yes, teacher. About the daily yes. routine. Okay, right now, I will need your help, guys. I need that you think about your daily routine. Necesito que piensen en su daily routine. Un ejemplo. Que piensen qué es lo primero que hacen. No piensen en horas. Don't think on the time. Solo digan, yo me levanto, me cepillo, o me levanto y hago el desayuno, luego me cepillo, o me, yo me levanto y me voy a trabajar de una sola vez, no desayuno. Think about that, but in English. Also, I would like to show you again the present simple. Why? Because the present simple is used is use it for describe habitual action or daily routines. You have three minutes in order to think about your daily routine, please. Okay, teacher. You're welcome.
Japanese teacher. Okay. Let me verify. It's almost. It's almost, guys. Just keep us. Let the rest finalize. Good night, teacher. Uh, yes. Clark. Hi, Francisco. How Thank are you, you today? Hola, Francisco. ¿Qué tal? ¿Nos escuchas fuerte y claro? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you take a review about the picture that I sent to you today? ¿Revisaste las fotografías? ¿Le hice una ojeada? In the WhatsApp? Yeah. Uh, a few. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. Right now, I need that you think about your daily routine. Because right now we are talk about daily routine. Vamos a hablar sobre el, tu rutina diaria, Francisco. Don't worry. We already started the class, this aims. But I need that you think about this. Okay. For example, no, don't say the time, just say the action. Uh, what do you do first of all? We, uh, you wake up, then get up. If you take a shower or you decided to take a breakfast or just take a shower and go to work. Solo piensa tu rutina. Main why we will start uh, to practice. Just give okay, me. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Just give me a second. Give me a second, guys. I will use an, a tool. I got a question for you guys. Someone remember if someone has um, the honor that doesn't be a victim. Hay alguien sabe, se recuerda si alguien va a tener el honor de no ser víctima al día de ahora? Yes, me. David, okay, David. David, it's up to you right now. Would you like to participate in this roulette? Because if the roulette chose you, you will share with us your daily routine. Okay, no problem. Okay, Aleja. This is a test, guys. Con mucho gusto, Unice. Nosotros te vamos a agregar. Eh, permíteme. Okay. Muy bien, guys. Are you ready? Están listos, chicos. Yes, teacher. 
you sound like a SpongeBob, but here we go, guys. Kevin. Can sí, you... teacher. Este, Can... yes. me, me disculpa, acabo de entrar y estoy en primera clase, entonces no estoy al hilo, por decirlo así. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, uh, let me know who are news o para quiénes es la primera clase el día de ahora. Tú, Kevin, y me había comentado Angélica, ¿hay alguien más que sea su primera clase? No, muy bien. Ok, Kevin, eh, vamos medio adelantados, pero te voy a enviar el día de hoy, al finalizar la, la clase, los temas que, veremos, que hemos visto esta semana, imágenes relacionadas a los temas de esta semana, junto con imágenes que serán pues, venideras de la siguiente semana. Mm, ok, ok. A ambos se les incita, por favor, eh, con lo de la plataforma. Yo no te voy a pedir una lección, una cantidad de lecciones por día, porque tú eres quien maneja tu horario, tú sabes mejor cómo lo puedes hacer, pero sí necesito que al menos la primera semana eh, hayamos terminado la lección 1 y 2. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, vamos a tener a otra víctima, ya que tú dices que es tu primera semana. Vamos a ver. Eunice, can you help us? Hi. Hi, Eunice. Mm -hmm. We will place right now a whiteboard. Oh, no, this. Debo describir mi rutina. Yes. Al iniciar el día. Okay. Yes. What's the first thing that you did? Um, when I wake up, I go to the bathroom. Just give me a second. I need a pencil. Okay. First of all, wake up. Then yeah. you go to the, your bathroom. To, then? Um, no, it's a PP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, make peace. The, uh -huh. A way to say SAPP is the next one, guys. Just give me a second. <laughs> make peace. Oh, okay. And when you said may poop is the number two. Oh, okay. Thank you. You make peace. You wake up and they make peace. After that, uh, I wash my face. Mm -hmm. It's a also, like a shower. Mm -hmm. My teeth. And and then uh, take a bath. Creo que sería el have a shower. Mm -hmm. Oh, take a shower in this case. It's not have. It's... Mm -hmm. Take. Take. Then I uh -huh. have a breakfast and continue with the other activities. After your breakfast, you go to the university or work university okay you go to the university yeah you take a bus or you drive um i'm bus a veces take a bus a veces drive okay I stopped here okay yeah. i need to re uh, everybody i need that everybody repeat after me about this kind of the routine. First of all, wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. Yes. After wake up, it doesn't matter if we need to make peace. But the second activity, it's get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Yes. After get up, you can make a piece if you <laughs> want it or take water or drink water. But the next one, um, 
wash my my face. My face. Wash my face. Wash my face. Wash my face. Wash my face. After that, Eunice says that she brush my her, teeth. Her teeth. In your case, in her more case, it brush her teeth. Mm -hmm. But in your case, yes, it's okay. Right. After that, she said that she take a shower. Take a shower. Take, take a, a shower. shower. Take a shower. After that, what we do? Yes, no. What's the next things after take a shower? What's ¿Qué es la siguiente cosa que hacemos después de, de, de un, tomarnos una ducha? Get dressed. That's right. Dressed. Important, guys. Important. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You did a great job. You did a simple work as I, I would like it. But remember. And after that, she have a breakfast. A breakfast. And after that, she go to, to university. To university. Okay. Yeah. This is in the morning. What about in the night? Sigo yo? No. Ah, okay. Right now will be the next big thing. Kevin is new. Yes. Carlos, can you help us? Carlos. Hello, teacher. Can you help us? And yeah. Right now, just give me a second. I will clear this. Give me a second. Um, I'm ready. I'm... ¿Puedo decir lo que yo tengo? Sí, yes, it's okay. about you. Okay. Okay. It's about your uh, daily routine. Es un, bueno, traté de agregar todo lo que hago en el día. Uh -huh. Okay. I get up, tidy my bed, and go to the brush and take a bath. I am going to have breakfast. And then I take my classes at the university. Then I have lunch and continue with class at the university. I do my activities and then I have English classes and I go to sleep. Wow, nice. You did a, a great job. I am proud of both. Onis and you, I am proud of you guys. Okay, but repeat after me. Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. And after wake up, remember, get up. Get Don't up. Forget, get up. Get up. Get up. She said that she take, sorry, he said that he has to take a shower, a rose. Take a shower. Take a shower. a shower. A rush. A brush. A rush. A rush. La palabra rush, rush como lo ocupó, uh, or classmate, that means rápido. Entrada por salida. Como decía una roommate, Bañadita de avión, solo alas y motor. <laughs> After that, uh, he said that he had his breakfast. Él tuvo su desayuno. But if, we, if I want to say que hizo su desayuno, how can I say that? Make breakfast. That's right. You did a great job. After that, she went to the school 
and also has classes, but let me know something. What method of transportation did you use to go to your school, to your university? ¿Cómo te fuiste a la universidad? Carlitos. Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Eh, ¿Cómo llegaste a la universidad ahora? Um, I, um, quiero ver cómo sería. Uh, conducir. How do you say conducir? <laughs> okay, uh, but right. the try, but ah. what kind of, what kind of, uh, uh, sería, I try go to university in the car. Yes. Remember, if you use a car, it's right. But if oh, you okay. use a motorcycle, it's right. Okay. Or classmate drive to university and then he take classes. Repeat, take classes. Take classes. But yes. if I am speaking about Carlos, how can I say that? He takes classes. That's right. Nice. Okay, next one. Next meeting will describe just the morning. Oh, just give me a second. Let me verify something before continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, just two more. Mario, can you help us? Of course, teacher. And when I wake up early. Mm -hmm. Okay, you wake up. And I get up. Uh -huh. Then I, I, take, I take the shower and make my breakfast. And then I drive to my work. Well, sorry. Then my breakfast and brush my teeth. And then I drive my I drive to my work. Uh-huh. And nice. in the afternoon, I have the lunch. Stop, 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 stop. You are doing very well. Okay. okay. Repeat after me. He. 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 he wakes he up. Wakes up. up. Wakes up. Then he. Then he. Then he. Then he gets then up. He. Get, get, up. get up. up. After that, or after classmate. That, after that. <laughs> that part no, the guy, but it's okay. Uh, after that, what was the next activity of our classmate? Uh, did she said he he, he takes has has a shower. He has, he, has a, he has a shower. But take a shower. Yes, but in this kind of cases, it's not have is take think. oh sorry my bad <laughs> I, 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 feel, I feel asleep it's the <laughs> new language yes guy okay <clears throat> Okay, it's enough. Okay. Here, he takes, he takes a shower. After takes a shower, what happened? What? He has. He has a breakfast. Makes. She's perfect. Okay, remember, if you, we said, we, uh, he makes the perfect, 
que él lo preparó. But our mm. classmate says that he has a breakfast. Que él comió solo y después comió. And after that, brushes. But the complete sentence would be brush. He, he, he brushes. He brushes. He brushes. He That's right. He brushes his teeth. And then uh, dry, he drives to the yard. And then he drives to the yard. That's right. Okay, right now the next person will describe the night. And that will be the last one. After that, we will watch some videos and continue with the course because today we have to do two assessments it are easy and you are amazing. You will do it asleep. <laughs> okay. The next victim will be. Mario, pero Mario ya nos ayudó. Kevin is new. Esdras, can you help us? Esdras, are you there? Esdras, okay, Esdras cannot help us. Esdras is speaking. Is he speaking? I cannot listen to him. Francisco, can you help us? Yes. Okay. Remember, Francisco, you have to describe your routine after your, your work. Okay. Well, in my case, after the work, I try to go to my home. Uh -huh. And then um, I have dinner and then I have a few break or short break. And then um, I take my English classes and then I go to sleep. So very tired. Okay. Then study and go to bed. Repeat after me. But first of all, Francisco, did you drive a car or what? ¿Cómo llegas a casa? ¿Qué ocupas? Yes, I drive a car. Okay. Repeat after me, guys. Francisco. 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 Drives. 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 To his house. To, to his, his house. house. Uh, mm, he mentioned that he went to. He arrives. He, he arrives, arrives to his home. To his, his home, home at night. At, at night. night. After that. After, after that, that. Francisco. Francisco. Francisco has a dinner. Has a dinner. Has a dinner. After the dinner. 
After, after the dinner. dinner. Francisco has a break. Francisco, Francisco has, has a break. Has a break. 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 After the break, after the break, after the break, Francisco takes his English classes. Francisco, Francisco takes his English, takes English classes. His English classes. And then, and then, and then, Francisco goes to bed. Francisco, Francisco, Francisco goes, goes to bed. To bed. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Okay, guys, we will continue right now with the course. You are doing a great job. I am so proud of you guys, believe me. Okay, by the end of the class, we will be able to form simple present question. Additional, you will practice conversation about the routines, which illustrated how this topic is used in real life sitting. En otras palabras, nos, en esta clase nosotros vamos a ser capaces de preguntar usando el simple present y vamos a poder tener preguntones, eh, conversaciones sobre nuestra rutina diaria. Here the first video. Antes de, de continuar, ¿lo escucharon? Yo no. No, teacher. Hi, everyone. In this class... Uh, yes, yes. Hoy sí. Ok, recuerden. Si tienen dudas sobre lo que está diciendo el señor, pueden basarse al lado derecho en las letras que están en azul y en español. But our main goal is try to understand what of the mystery say. Or how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does, plus subject, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word, plus do or does, plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No. He eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, 
you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and co-workers. After you complete this task, share it in our discussion forums. Okay, guys. Uh, right now, uh, it's time to make an assessment. First of all, I would like to know, what do you think about this video? Yes, guys. What do you think about this video? ¿Qué opinaron sobre el video? ¿Le entendieron a cómo ocupar simple present? More or less. Yes. Not the, no. Okay, it's okay. We will have a little review. Remember the simple present. It's subject plus bear plus complement. Negative form, subject plus. This kind of case of auxiliary verb in negative form, it could be don't or doesn't plus verb plus complement. And the last one, it's the questions a structure. Remember, it's complex. It's auxiliary verb, do or does. Subject, verb, and complement. I will send it to you. These pictures from today in WhatsApp group. Right now, we have the next activity. The instruction says, 
on a scrabble the question to complete the conversation, write the question in the blank. This time you don't need to tie a question mark at the end. Instrucciones, descifre las preguntas para completar la conversación. Escriba la pregunta en los espacios en blanco. Esta vez no es necesario asignar el signo de pregunta al final. First question or the first example. Do you, do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. And this is like a mess. The second one, it's the answer is at one o'clock. What would be the questions? Teacher, you share the screen? Uh, yes, it's not showing to you. My bad, chicos, today I have some technical difficulties. Okay, can you see? Yes, now. Okay. Yes. I have said, this is an example, but this is how it looks. In this case, the answer for this question will be at one o'clock p.m. How do you say in punto in English? O'clock. Muy bien. What would be the answer for this question? What? What time? What time do you do eat? You do eat? you eat lunch? Next one will be no this class start at nine o'clock. Those this class um, teacher creo que se le fue una L en la en la de arriba. What time the lunch, did you eat? Lunch. No. Ah, okay, no, pero... lunch. Una H. No, this is car. This class start at nine o'clock. Yes. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Okay. Next one. I study English in the evening. When do you study English? When do you study English? Yes, we play soccer on Saturday. Do you and your friends Place for on weekends. What happened here? The number eight is the word. That's nice. Next one. By the end of this class, you will develop a skill in predicting and scanning and sequence, even reading and discussing interviews about the schedule. The next one is a video. And the video length. Hi, everyone. It's two minutes. We will uh, stop here because it's almost time. 
but tomorrow we will do uh, this. We will watch this video and we will do this test. The test is about the video. And we will start with this one. We will watch a little bit about furniture and simple present sentence. Muy bien, mañana sí vamos a tener una agenda pesadita porque estaríamos cubriendo al menos esta parte que se completa la sección 2 o al menos una gran parte de la parte 2. Eh, no sé si alguien tiene preguntas al respecto, cómo han sentido la clase del día de ahora. ¿Les sintieron fácil? ¿Les sintieron difícil? ¿Hubo algo que no entendieron? Muy bien, guys. Eh, les agradezco que hayan estado a tiempo. Me encantó darle la clase, cualquier pregunta o consulta, no duden en hacerla. Vuelvo y repito, no duden en hacer cualquier pregunta o consulta. Hay una compañera en el mismo grupo de WhatsApp, somos dos personas con las que podemos responder a ustedes todas las consultas posibles. Eh, bueno, ¿alguien quiere agregar algo a la clase? Sí, Francisco. Do you have something to share with us? No, really, but for me, this class was very interesting and very dynamic or dynamic. I don't know what to say. Dynamic. It's okay, Francisco, and I appreciate much your work. Uh, okay, guys, uh, right now it's almost time. Just waiting until one minute more and you will be free to go. Have a wonderful night and thank you for being here. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.